everybody. Happy first day of quarter four. Hope you had a really restful and relaxing spring break. Um, I know it wasn't the break that many of us had planned on, um, but all the same, hope you enjoyed it. Um, so today we're going to start with a prayer. Um, this is a prayer that's based on uh, the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father. Um, similar in format layout, just with some little different language, so just thought I would share it with you. Uh, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, Loving God, in whom is heaven. The hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and testing, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. St. Francis de Sales, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. So for your uh, assignment this week, I would like to have you record, uh, just audio record, um, yourself singing Shenandoah. Now, if you've never done this before, um, it's pretty easy. But uh, we'll just kind of walk through some of the steps on how to do that. Uh, first thing you'll need is an audio recording app. Um, my app that I use is Voice Record Pro. That's the one I use to make all my practice tracks. It's free, it's easy to use, and it's really easy to upload to Google Drive. Um, so I will send out a link to that. That's the one I recommend, um, but if you have another voice recording app, um, you are welcome to use that. Um, so as once you have that, you have a couple different options for how you can submit your track to me. Um, first option is to use the practice tracks that are on Google Classroom. Um, when you get into those tracks, um, definitely go ahead and review it a couple times before you send your recording. Um, you know, because I'm sure, you know, you, maybe you practiced every day during spring break, but, you know, just in case you didn't. Um, anyway, uh, so you're going to just, uh, I would put in a headphone, and then you're going to click on the record button in your app. You'll hear three clicks, so you'll hear, let me see if I can do it for you. Here we go. So you'll hear one, two, three, and then your part will come on from there, and it will click through all of the rests for you, uh, so you will need to count those and do it that way. So it's for me, I find it easiest if I'm trying to listen to something to stay in time and record if I use a separate device, so like usually I'll plug in my headphones to my phone, um, put one one ear in so I can still hear what I'm singing, but also hear the background music. Um, so in this case, I would hit record on my iPad, um, push the button on my phone to start my practice track. And so what I'm hearing is, and then as you hear that, you can go ahead and sing along with it. Um, another option, if you're feeling a little more adventurous, um, I will be sending you a link on YouTube to a stock recording. So what that refers to is basically a recording that when you're like shopping online for music, you can hear what the song sounds like before you buy it. Um, so that's what this recording is. Um, gentlemen, you'll notice that in this recording it is an SSA arrangement. I couldn't find one of the SAB. So it's still the same part that you have. It's just gonna be sung by um, female voices instead of male voices. Uh, so, I'll play a little bit for you. So again, this would be the same idea. Press record on your iPad. This is what you're hearing in your ear. And of course it has a really long, awkward silence. Beginning, you know. So that's what it'll look like. Oh, you can't see that at all, I'm so sorry. So there's like music going through there and then you can start singing. So you can sing along with that track and that also that way will allow you to practice singing with all the other parts. Um, it doesn't really matter to me which way you decide to do it, whatever is easiest for you. Um, the goal is um, if we are out of school longer than April 6th, um, what I'd like to try to do is put together a like a video recording of you singing along with this track or a track that I make, probably this one because I mean, you know, the piano part's pretty good. 
So you would have this in your ear, and then we would be able to compile all of the songs, all of your recordings together to hopefully stack into a song since um, virtual choir rehearsals are really hard because of internet speed and lag and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that is what I would like for you to do for me for this week. Um, don't, I mean, do a good job on it, but also don't like beat yourself up about it. It has, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, once you submit it, if you can just share with me something that you think you're doing well, whether that's notes, rhythms, dynamics, um, articulation or um, diction, making sure that your words are nice and clear, and then also something that you would like to continue to improve on, whether that's a um, like a self-improvement thing or if it's something that you need some additional help from me, I am here to help you with that stuff. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it. I will also be sending out a Google form. Um, so I got an idea from a friend um, about hosting a virtual open mic night where you would be able to come in um, to like a Google Hangout or whatever and we could just, you know, share music with each other. And I think that might be a cool thing to do. So if that's something you're interested in, um, fill out the Google form and send it back to me and we'll try to find a day and a time that works well for everybody. Um, it would probably be more of an evening activity. Um, I don't know, something about an open mic night at like a Tuesday at 10 a.m. I don't know if it'll work very well, but you know, we can try it. I'm flexible. Um, we're all kind of figuring this out together. And uh, again, just let me know if you have any questions um, or if you just need to like reach out, talk, I'm here. Um, so that's kind of what we're looking at. Um, concert Choir, be on the lookout for one other thing from me for this week. And I will uh, talk to you guys soon. Um, also available Friday for office hours, I believe Performing Arts is at 11.15 to noon. So if you want to stop in and ask questions or if you just want to say hello, catch up. Um, I'm there for that too. So, um, Shenandoah recording. Um, if you can submit that to me by Sunday night, Sunday is April 5th, um, at 11 59. So that gives you almost a full week to get that done. Um, we should be good to go. So thanks for watching and God bless you all. And we will chat soon. Bye.